To get the music blocks in Scratch, open the Add Extensions tab in the bottom corner of the screen and click Music. The bubble in the middle of the Play Drum block allows you to select different instruments from a snare drum to a cuica. If you drop a Pick Random Number block in it, you can randomize the percussion instruments that's played. The variable at the end of the block will change how long it will play that sound. A quarter note equals one beat, so 0.25 beats means this percussion instrument will play for one sixteenth note before moving to the next block. The rest block uses the same timing as the drum block, but this block doesn't make a sound. You can use this block to help the timing of your music. The play note block allows you to play a note using a MIDI number. But if you click on the number, you can pull up a portion of a piano and scroll left or right to hear what note you want to pick. Just like with the other blocks, the beats on the right will determine how long it will play. You can also use variables to quickly play through a lot of notes, and you can even use decimals to play through notes you couldn't normally get on a piano. Or even use your mouse coordinate to change which notes are played as you move the mouse. If you place a set instrument block before a note, it will change the note to one of the instrument options you can pick, like a piano, electric guitar, marimba, etc. You can even randomize the instruments you hear with a pick random block. Use the set tempo block to change how many beats per minute the music will play. If you'd like to gradually speed up or slow down your tempo, you can use the change tempo block. For example, if you put the change tempo block in a repeat, you can also use the tempo block to make your project change speeds with the tempo of your music. There's a link to this project in the description, and you can check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.